Atu's 14th National Congress, currently underway, is taking place at Midrand's Galagai State today. New leaders are expected to be elected, with the current president of the Trade Union Federation, Zingi Swalosi, hoping to retain her position. The gathering will also give leaders a mandate on who to back at the ANC's conference in December. ANC Chairperson Gwede Mantashe, as you can see in those live visuals from Midrand, is expected to address the delegates shortly. And uh, currently, so they were chanting Hamba Gwede just a short while ago. Those are the live visuals from inside the venue of the Kosatu Trade Union Federation that uh, started today. And uh, they're going to be ending this Congress, of course, uh, having elected a new set, a new set of, uh, of leaders. Let's take you inside then, listening to the singing ahead of Gwede Mantashe's address. He's addressing this conference in his capacity as a chairperson of the ANC and ally of Kosatu. Yeah, we can see that, uh, Slindelo. Thanks for those live visuals. He is being addressed there, I think, by uh, Lindy Wes Zulu. 
a member of the National Executive Committee of the ANC, and he's seated. That's, of course, Gwede Mantashe. In case you've just joined us just moments ago, the chairperson of the ANC, Gwede Mantashe, was making his way to the podium to address this Congress, the 14th National Congress of uh, COSATU. And the COSATU and ANC, of course, are allies. They are in an alliance partnership. And uh, the delegate started singing Asina Mali, as uh, Slindela was saying, and uh, is preventing Mr. Mantashe from addressing Congress. So currently he's seated, and those are the live visuals that we're bringing to you from Midrand, Galaga Estate, the venue of Kosatu's 14th National Congress. And he's being seated, as Slindela was saying. It's not sure yet what's going to happen now, Slindela. Next, I guess the proceedings have been stopped while this matter of Gwede Mantashe being prevented from addressing the COSATU Congress is being resolved, if it will be resolved. Exactly, Brad Dan. In fact, I've been trying to alert his officials. Can we just try and speak to him? Can we get a moment with him? And uh, his officials are telling me that can we just uh, wait for an official announcement from the podium? Uh, we're being asked to move back by his security. Um, people just don't want to. Uh, people don't uh, want to hear from him in terms of the delegates. But let's just uh, let, take and listen to what some of the delegates are saying. Just the municipality. There is a lot of corruption at the Rustenberg local municipality. ANC is doing nothing. They are always coming to the Congress, they lie to us. No, we'll fix this and that. We are having the municipalities, the grading of municipalities. They are not applying hard. So it's a problem we are fighting now, we are fighting for our rights now. As workers, we are working hard. Even at the elections, we are working hard. It must so be quite clear that we came here as delegates, however, we are representing workers that we left behind. And the mandate was clear that the current government is not doing good to the, to the working class. So what we want, they must just give what is due to us, our resolution of 2018, our increment. Don't this not of 3%. Thank you very much. Thank you. We want relationship is over. And the president and the president also has approved three percent for all the parliamentarians and all other ministers. So we want more than that. We have been as uh, too silent about this matter, and it's time that we do something about it. So we want our money now. Nothing less than CPI. It's telegraphy. I tattoo to three percent why you niggas are about to say Lama 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 argument collective bargaining that they are challenging. It means that they are challenging us directly. We are tired of them. We are tired. It starts now. We are going to pursue this revolution and henceforth. They are not going to talk here. They are not going to talk. We want our money. This is our parliament, not their parliament. All right. As you can hear, but then some sentiments here from uh, those who are part of those who do not want uh, Greta Mantasha to speak, those who are saying they will not allow him to address uh, this particular Congress under the current conditions, saying that the ANC has not been fulfilling its promises, it's not been fulfilling its mandate in terms of uh, addressing the issues and the concerns that have been been uh, put out by workers in terms of the uh, basic conditions of employment when it comes to salaries, increases, uh, just a lot of the uh, working conditions that uh, are being complained about, Chair, saying that the ANC needs to do better and uh, they cannot continue to come and address uh, this particular Congress where there are delegates that are work work representing workers on the ground who are completely frustrated, completely uh, annoyed at this point with the ANC, with their lack of action and addressing their issues, but then... Uh, and I heard one of the delegates telling you there that uh, they are tired of the empty promises of, of the ANC. We are bringing our viewers those live visuals with you there and the cameraman of uh, Gwede Mantashe still seated, standing next to him is Lindewe Zulu, according to the visuals, the live visuals from inside the venue there's Lindelo. She's of course a member of the National Executive Committee of the ANC. We can see there's also members of the security, but there are other people who are addressing him now. I wonder if they are trying to uh, uh, make it possible for him to address uh, the, the, the Congress of COSATU or if this will be successful or not, or he will end up not doing so. It seems to me the way, uh, he, the, from the visuals, Lindelo, you can correct me if I'm wrong, that he's seated, he's going nowhere. 
He's seated, but then, because at this point, we don't exactly understand what's going to happen. I'm trying to move towards uh, one of the ANC NEC members. I do see Barbara Christie as well as Lindy Wazulu, who's seated next to uh, Gwede Mantashe at this point. Um, I'm going to try and bring them in. Ms. Barbara Christie, uh, maybe you can address us on, to, on exactly what is happening. Will, will Mr. Mantashe address the Congress? As you can see, no word from Barbara Kwisi. Ms. Lindy Wazulu, will Mr. Mantashe be allowed to address the Congress at this point? What are the discussions taking place? The communications of uh, COSAI to the organizers, what's going to happen next? And please don't leave uh, our, our chairperson alone at the moment. He looks no, as though he wants to no, say something. No, no, please. I'm asking you nicely, please. Mr. Mantashe, no. can you please leave him for now? Please. All right, Braden, the ANC delegation asking us to leave the chairperson alone. Can you just leave him for now, right? We're being asked to leave him alone for now. He's on his phone. It does seem as though at this point they are, everyone is trying to okay. figure out exactly what's going to happen. Slindelo, Slindelo, can I just come in? Slindelo, can I just? We'll talk to you at the right time. All right. Yes, Braden? I wanted, sorry, uh, uh, Lindy Wezulu says the chairperson, Gwede Mantasha, will talk to you at the right time. We'll have to wait for that. Just wanted to know, around you, we've got live visuals coming in. The rest of the delegates look like they have walked out or are walking out or they are leaving their seats. What is the state of play outside yeah. or away from where Mr. Mantasha is seated currently? What are you seeing? All right, um, um, me and Teddy are just trying to move away so that we can give you that particular picture. I'm going to move towards the stage, but then I'm going to ask Teddy to give you a picture of the actual venue. I'm going to ask him to move up to the stage with me so you can see that, uh, in fact, people have moved out in their numbers and are moving out, uh, in fact, in their numbers. It seems there's going to be a bit of a break that's going to take place, I think, to try and figure out exactly what's going to happen next. In fact, if you go to my right, if you have a visual to my right, on the stage, we have the Kosatu president, Zingiswa Losi, with uh, Zuelen Zima Vavi and the leadership um, of Kosatu right now. I think they are already trying to figure out what's happening. I was going to try and speak to the president to understand what's happening, but I'm being uh, asked to move. Uh, they're going to have a bit of a mini closed session, I guess, uh, to figure out how they're going to deal uh, with delegates who do not want, um, who do not want uh, Mr. Mantasha to address uh, the yeah. uh, Congress. So I'm going to move down. Yeah, uh, while you are moving, yeah, while you are moving down, while we are moving down, Slindelo, just right while we are moving down, my sense is this has taken the Kosatu leadership by surprise. Seemingly, that's why they are huddled there on the stage, as you just showed us, uh, because the ANC, after all, yes. is its a senior alliance partner, if you may wish. And I don't think, maybe, I yes. don't think it could be a personally uh, targeted matter that they don't want Mandashi to speak. Unless they want Ramaphosa to speak, then we could understand that. But it doesn't seem like from the delegates who you spoke to, they just don't want to hear from the ANC today. But then I'm joined by Mpo Tadinyane from Samu, the provincial secretary here in Gauteng. Uh, we understand that salaries seem to be the issue that have not been paid. Maybe let's just ask Samu, what do you make of what just happened here? Your alliance partner, the ANC, is not being allowed to speak. No, no, no. But, but before we come to that one, can we then indicate the following? That this morning, or we should then indicate that the city of Tuani normally pays its uh, employees on the 26th of, uh, of every month. So this morning we, we were informed by many of our members, early in the morning around 5, 6, that their salaries have not been paid. So as Samu, we, then, we, we did engage the city of Tuani to say what the challenges are with regard to the non-payment of their salaries. But they indicated to us that, no, no, uh, it's not necessarily because the city has cash flow problems. It was because... Uh, the, yeah, not because of cash flow, but because this uh, APSA as their banker had technical issues. So, so we 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 hoping that by the close by close of business today, uh, those salaries should have been paid. 
Uh, but, but remember that this is not for the first time that we have in these unfortunate situations. Just last week, the city did not have enough fuel so that uh, buses can run. Mm. Yeah. So, 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 no, so talk to me about what's unfolding right now, what you're seeing happening right now as Samu. What does this say about workers on the ground and their frustrations with your alliance partner, the ANC? No, no, no. That one will then leave it to our national leadership to, to comment on that particular one. Yeah. Our, our mandate was only to speak on the issues related to City of Tuan. Yeah. Thanks. All right, Braden, you can see um, delegates a little bit cagey there. We had an opportunity to speak to Samu. I did see that issue about salaries um, on social media with regards to the city of Tswane. It seems that this is one of the issues that has been um, raised in terms of salaries that weren't paid to some city officials. Uh, but you can see that uh, Kosatu delegates are speaking to Mr. Mantashe. It does seem as though he will be making his way. Uh, out of the venue um, and uh, like I indicated to you earlier that uh, on stage we have leadership of Kosatu um, actually in, in some kind of a closed meeting to address the way forward. What is going to happen? What will be the way forward? I do see Mrs. Uh, Mamuluko Kubai Ngubeni as well who is here as part of the, uh, as part of the ANC delegation. Uh, it does seem as though they're moving out, Brodan, but uh, as you can see, like I indicated to you earlier, that this is not the first time we have um, an ANC senior official being essentially chased out um, of an event. Um, Mrs. Mamaluko Kubai, can you just tell me your thoughts about what's transpired here, what's happening as you see the chair? But looks like he's leaving the venue. No, we're going for lunch. Oh, you're going yeah, for lunch. Going for lunch, we are coming back. Yes, we will are will you be discussing what the way forward will be? Yeah. Will you be in discussions to find out what the way forward will be in terms of no, the address? Forward conference will oh. proceed. I mean, delegates are expressing themselves. It's allowed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll continue. We are here the whole conference as the MC and also as part of contributing to the discussions. Uh, they have raised their issues, they are speaking, we'll, we'll interact with them when we come back. All right. Uh, right then, as you can hear, Ms. Mamaluko Kuba and Gubeni giving us a sense that, look, they are just moving out for lunch. It seems maybe at this point um, they are trying to get people to cool down, calm down, um, to try and you know, arrest the situation. Let's just put our mic in here. Mr. Mantasha, how are you feeling? Okay, but then I'm trying, but I'm, I don't think we're going to get a word in uh, from the ANC chair right now. Uh, they will be moving out. Um, as he's moving out, they are delegates addressing him. Um, but uh, He's, um, the officials with Mr. Mantashe are adamant that he will not be speaking to us right now and that uh, at some point we will have um, an understanding and an, an official announcement from the podium itself as to whether the ANC will actually be allowed to address this conference because you can see they came here prepared to do so but uh, workers are frustrated and not allowing the chair to get a word in, resulting in what looks like an early break um, here at uh, Gallagher State, brother. And, the, and the, is he taking pictures there? It looks like he, they're taking pictures of, of one another, and it's not a good scene to see uh, him being uh, 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 encouraged to leave. Although Mamulo Kukubai says they are going for lunch, there's exchange of words between the chairman of the ANC, the chairperson of the ANC, Mr. Greater Mantasha, and those delegates of, uh, of COSATU who are at, uh, at its uh, 14th National uh, Congress. And people are saying all kinds of things, one would guess. And Mr. Mantasha is also responding on the spot. And then we saw him there pushing your microphone out of the way not wanting to talk to you but uh, like everybody else we want to know what his thoughts are now after what uh, what has transpired seemingly he has been prevented for now from addressing the the congress mamuluko kobai says the congress will will carry on and the anc will carry on to participate as an as an alliance partner in this congress for now though nothing is happening Kosatu leadership huddled on the on the stage. Are you being uh, prevented, Tesli? Oh, okay. There you are. I could not see you there for a while. Let's take a listen. 
Yeah, but uh, it seemed at some point they were trying to uh, keep us out of what's happening now, but uh, we are going to continue to try uh, and follow this ANC delegation. We're not sure where it's going, but what we know from speaking to Mamuluko Kuba and Guben is that uh, they are breaking for lunch, but just moments ago when uh, Greta Mantasha was supposed to address this Congress, this is day one, where we are hearing from Alliance partners, uh, from uh, sister organizations that are actually here observing uh, proceedings such as SAFTU. We saw uh, SAFTU Zuelin Zimavavi, who's also here, uh, in fact. So it's day one of this Congress, Protan. So we were going to hear from a number of stakeholders. Um, and uh, when it was time to now hear from the Alliance partner, then um, the delegates started chanting and singing and indicating that they do, they do not want to hear from Gwede Mantashe, who was actually about to address the, the Congress. I do see Smusi um, Sotlamini from Pop Crew. Um, just tell me, how are you feeling about what's transpiring right now? Uh, I mean, disbelief, you know. Uh, I mean, disbelief. But uh, actually, they should have actually expected this. Look, uh, the workers are very angry. Uh, it's been a while. At some point, we have been taken to court, nullifying their own agreement, one of 2018. So I think it's not a surprise to them, having, uh, uh, I mean, being uh, booed and chased away by the angry workers. Yeah. So look, it's a message. Unfortunately, it has been sent uh, in a hard way. So that should have been uh, maybe done uh, otherwise, uh, just to uh, ease the frustration from the workers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you think Mr. Mantasha will be allowed to address the Congress at any point? Uh, I don't know. We'll hear from our, 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 our leadership. I'm not at liberty to, to detect any terms uh, concerning that. But uh, we will wish to hear his message. Uh, but then now, uh, we don't know whether after lunch he will be able to be given a, a chance uh, to deliver the message of support. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, that is Spusi uh, Sozamini from Pop Crew, one of the delegates here, one of the over 2,000 delegates that have been accredited um, for this Congress. But then we know that it ends on Thursday. Uh, if I can maybe just take you through the nominations which had yeah. just taken no, place. No, before, before, before that, uh, sorry, Slindel, Slindel, before the nominations, before we hear that, we need to stay with these visuals as they're, as they're walking out. They are saying they're going for lunch. Yes. But the delegates, you spoke to some of them yes. earlier, say they don't want to hear any empty promises any longer from the ANC. There's the chairperson of the ANC, Gwede Mantache, with some of the officials of the ANC, including Barbara Creasy there. She's, uh, of course, uh, a member of the National Executive Committee of the ANC. They are there in their capacity as m officials of the ANC to attend this COSATU uh, Congress of their alliance partner. We also saw earlier, and you managed to, spoke, to speak to her, Mamulo and uh, she explained what uh, what is happening now they have entered the hall uh, for lunch and uh, Lindy was Zulu there also a member of the National Executive Committee now shutting the doors for the venue for lunch I guess you as the media now are being kept outside so you don't carry on to see what else has happened but we've seen what has happened we saw uh, uh, what has happened when Gwede Mantashe as chair of the ANC was about to address the COSATU Congress delegates started seeing Singing, Asina Mali, Asina Mali. They didn't want him to, to speak. We have no money, and we know there's issues of wages, like uh, this morning, the situation with workers at Tswane, but there are other issues. I heard one of the delegates saying, Government has given itself 3% salary increase, and we workers are not getting anything. So there's an issue around remuneration and pay. The mood is not good. And Mr. Tamini, that you interviewed there shortly, a, a short while ago, saying that he's very disappointed, but he says they should have expected this kind of, uh, of mood and reaction by the COSATU delegates. Mm. Certainly so. I mean, it's been a tough couple of years for the working class, I think, uh, in general, South Africans in general. And I think what you're seeing right now unfolding is, is a physical and a visual manifestation of the frustrations of the working class, in particular with this tripartite alliance and in particular with the ANC-led um, government saying that uh, nothing has really been done to cushion workers uh, from some of the issues that they are, fa that they are facing. Inflation goes up. 
up, um, food costs are going up, petrol prices are going up, but salary increases are not even matching um, the, the kinds of inflations that we're seeing in the economy. And of course, uh, like I said earlier to you before, is that we were about to hear from uh, Mr. Mantashe from the ANC chair in terms of um, its message of support for the, for the Congress when he was uh, booed off stage um, and not even allowed uh, to say hello uh, to those who are here at this particular Congress, Bradan, and its issues that South Africans everywhere, um, I think, have been trying to voice and get the, the ruling party to understand. Um, in fact, uh, one worker that uh, was part of the uh, delegates who were booing Mantashe away was saying that it seems workers and South Africans are in an abusive relationship with the ruling party, and there just seems to be no end in sight. It seems that this, what you're seeing right now, could be a warning uh, for the ANC um, for what they can expect come 2024. Uh, whether Mantashe will be allowed to address this Congress, I think we will see after lunch. You can see that, in fact, delegates are inside this hall. This is hall three. Unfortunately, we're not being allowed inside. Um, lunch is taking place right now. Um, once they resume, which is po probably and possibly after an hour or so, um, then we'll have a clearer idea, a clearer picture, Bradan, as to what's going to happen. I remember one of the last visuals I showed you was also of um, the leadership of Kosatu right now, um, led by Zingis Walosi, uh, having a kind of a meeting or closed se session um, on the stage uh, to try and uh, and resolve this. One of the officials from Ma from Mantashe's delegation told me that they will there would be an official announcement in terms of uh, Mantashe's address, whether it's going to happen or not. We're going to have to wait and see what's going to happen there after lunch. And uh, well done, Selina, for staying with that live development right from inside to outside, even though you are prevented now from getting into the lunch hall where the delegates plus Mr. Mantasha and other ANC officials are meeting. We get a sense of what is happening. It's going to be very interesting what's going to happen after lunch. We'll have to come back to you live at that time to hear whatever announcement uh, will be made. And uh, Linda Wezulu telling us a little bit late earlier, they're speaking to Selina, saying, the chairperson, leave him alone. He'll speak a little bit later. And Mamulo Kokubai explaining that they're going for lunch.